guys, welcome to another episode of Manuela's Diner. Today I'm gonna make a delicious lemon cheesecake. It is a cheesecake that has an almond bun and then delivered it with the delicious meringues and I'm gonna burn the meringues a little bit so you get this typical lemon meringue pie look on it, but it is a cheesecake. So, first we start with the almond bun, preheat the oven to 160 Celsius and then you need four egg whites. So just uh, break up the eggs in a bowl. When you have the egg whites, then you just put them in a clean bowl. I'm just using my stand mixer, but you can also use your hand mixer. And then we start a little on low speed. It's important to start on low speed when you start it. Mix until it gets full. Once it gets foamy, you add one eighth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. And what it does, it makes it just more a dreamy meringue. But if you don't have it, you can just leave it out. When you see that the meringue is getting, you know, wider and wider, you take a tablespoon at a time of icing sugar or powdered sugar, as you call some of people call it, and you just add it to the meringue. And you still keep this on low medium speed. So little by little. With all of the ice and sugars incorporated, you're just gonna put this on high speed and you're gonna mix it till it's fluffy and delicious. The next thing you need to do is you have a bowl with cold water and you have uh, gelatin leaves in it. We need to leave the gelatin uh, in cold water, it's important it's cold water, for five minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna make this delicious mixture. It's so delicious, it's oh, heaven. Uh, so just add a lot of sugar and then uh, I have squeezed fresh lemon juice. Just pour it into the pan. And then we need six eggs. So a whole six eggs. Just gonna add it in a pan. And the best thing with this one, it's so easy to make. It's just put it all in the pan and then you cook it over heat until it is fluffy and nice and thick. You need lemon, um, lemon zest in it. So I just use a microplane. I'm gonna take this to the stove and it will become very thick and when it becomes thick I, I turn off the stove and I take the gelatin loose out and put it in there and then I mix it until combined. So 
it's uh, all finished and what I'm gonna do is just take the chalantine leaves that I have been soaking in water and I just uh, take out most of the water yeah we have them all and then I just blend it together to see that it's all melted and the chalantine is of course the thing that's gonna hold the cake uh, cheesecake together just blend it together and it smells so delicious. I just love, love, love this. This is Remember Me from a candy that I love from Norway. It's called Fox and um, it's just so, like all the flavors, all the lemon, it's just so delicious. Mm. I could just totally lick just this. Mm. It's just so delicious, lemon, lemon, lemon. I love lemon. So the thing is with the, this mixture, it needs to totally cool down. Uh, so it has to cool down for approximately half an hour. I think we'll do so. So I'm just gonna leave this here. And the cake is finished and I put a plastic wrap around it. I will just show you what the cake look underneath like that. And also what I did is that I wash, I took it out and I wash it and then put it back on just so that you get a nice finish and then the plastic wrap I just put around it. But I'm just going to leave it like that and uh, this needs to uh, cool down and then I will show you how I make this delicious, delicious lemon cake. So the mixture has uh, now uh, cooled down. And I am telling you, when you make this, you have to try this before you put everything else in it. Because it's just magical. It's so delicious. I'm using Philadelphia cream cheese. And then I'm using two of, uh, so totally of 600 grams of cream cheese. And you just put them into the bowl and then you just add this mixture. So make sure the mixture is totally cold. You do that and you just pour it over right away. Just gonna mix this up till it become yummy. It just take a few minutes. So I'm just going to pour this uh, over the cake directly. And then I just leave this uh, in the fridge overnight. Uh, I think when you are baking it's important to have a little bit of patience uh, because if you let it you know, stand overnight it just become a more delicious cake. And then you are sure that it's not falling apart when you open the ring. So I'm going to leave this overnight. So uh, now it's the next day for me and uh, the cheesecake has been in the fridge overnight. And uh, I'm going to top it with a delicious uh, meringues on top. You need a stand mixer or a hand mixer. And then you need uh, sugar. And then light corn syrup. Then you add water. Now you put this, uh, so now you need to put this uh, on the stove. Then you just uh, stir with the spatula till the sugar is dissolved. And uh, when the sugar is dissolved, then you just put this thermometer in there till it goes to 117 uh, uh, Celsius. So uh, now the sugar has dissolved, so it just needs to uh, boil till this 170 Celsius. And in the meantime, you need egg whites. I buy egg whites in a box, so it's uh, when you have it in a box, it's cheaper and you don't, you don't need to throw away the egg yolks. So I just uh, put this in a mixing bowl. And then you just start uh, mixing at low speed and when it starts to foam up you add like a tablespoon of sugar because I have a little bit of sugar here too that I've divided. So when you start to see the foam then you would just add the sugar little by little and uh, keep an eye of course on the sugar that is uh, boiling there because afterwards we need to pour that in here. So I'm just going to continue and uh, adding the sugar. Uh, so the sugar is now uh, come to 117 Celsius, so I'm just pouring it into the um, mixer a little by little and I still have it on low speed. 
It's very, very hot, so be careful. So this will be on the medium speed this to start with, and uh, the cake, I just took it out of the fridge. So I'm just removing the plastic wrap. Well, this mixing, you can just add vanilla, because vanilla makes everything better. And like I said before, I just eyeball. It's ready. So I'm just gonna taste for you guys and I hope you guys are gonna be so tempted to make it yourself so. mm. what a nice combination delicious cheesecake on top with lots of lemon and lemon zest and it's heaven I'm gonna top it I mean the combination of you know the um, almonds because I didn't bake overbake the cake so you have this gooey feeling and then you have the delicious lemon I can't tell you enough how much I love this lemon it's so delicious it's like a, your favorite lemon candy you know if you think about a toffee candy you know you give this sour feeling and then have it in a cheesecake that is so moist and delicious and then top it with the meringues I'm telling you, it's heaven. Mm. And also like the blackberries on top, it's so delicious. So I'm gonna enjoy this. Probably in one more bite <laughs> before I share it with others. But I really hope you enjoy yourself. I really hope you got inspired today watching uh, me making this delicious uh, lemon meringue cheesecake. And uh, if you love the video, it would be great if you share it with your friends. And also, if you can click the like button. And if you have any questions, you can just ask them below. I will do my best to answer them. And um, also, remember that all the recipes, I will also put there below a link that goes to my blog. My blog name is Passion for Baking. I know many of you have said, where's the recipe? I write it below a link. So you can go to my website, and there it is in English, or you can just, you know see how to make it and then have the recipe for you to make it yourself let me know how it worked out and also you can find me on instagram passion for baking tag me i would love to see how your cake look and most of all is of course this the taste and i promise you this is one heck of a cheesecake you're gonna love it hope to see you guys next time bye mm.